In this flow blade tutorial I will show you how to create horizontally split video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in flow blade. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to just drag this clip here into um, track one. But one of the problems with a lot of video editors, well most video editors, is you, you can only create basic crops and cuts. If you wanted to create a shape or even writing with a video on, you have to create a white background. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I'm not going to do anything with this clip here yet. If you, just to show you how it works for just a basic sort of um, shape, if you come up to project and then left click on color clip, left click on the black box and select by left clicking the white, the very white um, color and then left click on select you'll have to um, select create as well and this will give you a white picture for one of a better word now drag this into track 2 now you may have to make sure that everything marries up so you may want to just drag this to the end till it snaps okay So I'm going to select this clip. This is the which it says color clip. Now right click on it and next to add filter and then next to transform left click on translate. Now in the Y box you can move this white um, box up or down. So if I want to say a horizontal split of 50% because this is 1080 this the height I'll just type in minus 540. Incidentally you can do this by rotating these as well um, and you can also make white backgrounds in GIMP. I prefer to do them in Blender but that's another story. OK, so you've got this white bar here, but you can't see the video below. So if you just make sure that the colour strip is selected, right click on the strip, and then add compositor, and you can left click on quite a few of these, I would just left click on a fine blend. And the video will appear behind. I'll, I'll show you how to move this about at the end. OK. Come back to your media file and drag your next clip in to track 3. Now if you right click on the your second clip and next to add compositor you need to look next to blend from multiply and this will place this video or the area of this video you'll only be able to see well I'll start again <laughs> you'll only be able to see the area of the video that corresponds to the area of whites behind it so as you can see if this was writing all you'd see is the writing with a video over it okay I'm just going to just snap this lock so it actually obviously you would want to make sure they're the same length but I'm not going to fuss too much with this because like I said at the beginning I assume you've got some knowledge okay so that's done that bit now I want to move this one up so I'm going to select the very top video and then right click and then you can use something like add filters again transform and then translate and in this instance I think I want to go up do I 
No, it's the wrong way. Go back. Minus. Sometimes you have to be a bit careful with flow blade. It gets a bit excited. So actually that's spot on there. So you just adjust the Y and you can roll your middle mouse with your pointer over this as well to change the settings. So we'll leave that as it is. And finally, select the um, bottom clip or your first clip you brought in, right click and add filters, transform, translate and in this instance we want to go down so just carefully drag this down or you can roll your middle mouse in this box here don't go too mad it takes a bit of time for it to catch up so do it a little bit at a time just gradually adjust the height until get a sensible looking video and this is really all you need to do if you go too far you'll see a white background I think no you will see nothing actually anyway that'll do basically that is how you make um, video clips that um, are of a different shape than the original um, profile. So hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.